Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Learn now from your learning partner. Today, we're going to learn about how to fill the missing data in Power BI with examples, so please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on your learning. In the previous video, we had explained in detail about pivoting in Power BI. If you had not watched that video, then click on the above link. If you're new to Power BI, don't worry, we have created a complete watch list that will guide you step by step, where we explain everything you need to know. If you're working with large data sets or importing data from different sources, you may encounter missing data or gaps in your data. In this video, I'll show you how to use Power Query to fill in those gaps and ensure that your data is complete and accurate. We can see the data or gaps in your data set. You can do this by looking for blank cells or null values in your data. You can also use the filter rows function in Power Query to filter for rows that contain missing data. Now we need to fill that missing data. To fill in missing data, you can use the fill function in Power Query. This function allows you to fill in missing data based on a pattern or value from another cell. For example, if you have a column with missing dates, you can use the fill function to fill in the missing dates based on the dates that come before or after the missing ones. Let's say you have a table with sales data for the past year, but some months are missing data. To fill in the missing data, follow these steps. Load your data into Power Query. We had already loaded the Power Query. These are the missing data by filtering for rows with blank cells in the sales column. Select the column with missing data and click on the Fill button in the Transform tab. Choose the Fill Down option to fill in the missing data based on the value in the cell above it. Your data is now complete with no missing sales data for months. And that's it. Filling in missing data using Power Query is quick and easy and ensures that your data is accurate and complete. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.